Are you looking for options for getting rid of fire ants in your lawn? If so, you clicked on the right video. Coming up, I talk about two products I've used successfully in the past. I weigh the pros and cons of each, help you decide which one's right for you. Let's get started. Hello YouTube. Welcome to Project Golf Course Lawn. You know, fire ants are one of the few things that can ruin any lawn. You can put a ton of work into your lawn and get it looking nice, but you get out there and if you have ants eating you up, they can seriously injure you, they can injure your pets. Some people have severe allergic reactions to ants, so they are definitely something you want to get rid of and, and try and minimize in your lawn if at all possible. Now, if you guys have been following my content, recently you guys saw I had a small anthill outbreak there on the front uh, driveway area. So I figured this is a great time to share some options with you guys for getting rid of fire ants. So if you're not specifically dealing with fire ants, a great product that I really like that is a broad product that, that is a combination. It does both um, fungus control as well as non-fire ants is a product called Caravan G. But if you're dealing specifically with fire ants, like fire ants, pharaoh ants, any of those ants that are really nasty that, 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 will, that will bite you and sting, uh, we gotta do something different. So I'm gonna share with you two options that I've used and I've had great success with. One of them you can find pretty easily at your local Home Depot, and the other one you may have to order online. So really when it comes down to, to fire ants treatment, you have two options really, right? You've got uh, a spot treatment option, which is this one here, the ortho, ortho or orthene fire ant killer, and then you've got the Advion fire ant bait. This is the OG guys. If you guys have been following my channel for a while, you guys know this is a favorite of mine for a long time. Um, it's an amazing product. It's a little bit more expensive than the orthene, but it works really well. So the question is now, which one, or what, under what scenarios would you choose one over the other? Well, what it really comes down to is, is that, that the products really have different use cases. Uh, they, they both are designed to treat fire ants and to, and to kill them, um, but one is more of a spot treatment. This, uh, the orthene is like a powder that you, you sprinkle on the mound, ideally when the ants are active, and it will kill that particular mound. And then the Advion, you can also use it that way, but it's also really designed to be sprayed or, or to be distributed as, as, as a broadcast product, so to treat an entire area. So of the two, I am a fan of, of the Advion because really what happens is if you use the Orthene, you tend to play a game of whack-a-mole. You, you kill the ants in one location and they'll just simply move somewhere else if you don't get all of them. And let's be honest, you never really get all of them. Um, and so, it, so this, while this is a great product and it's easy to find, uh, it's not really the best product in my opinion for getting rid of them over the long term. So as far as application rates, uh, the one thing about this Advion Fire Ant Bait is that one jug treats just under 60,000 square feet. So if you figure you can typically get by with one or two applications per season, you buy one of these and you're you can treat your entire lawn and you're good to go. Uh, as far as um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna, I'm gonna distribute the granules all throughout my lawn. I can show you guys what that looks like now. So actually I'll spray a little bit right down here on the, uh, on the pavement. So the way the product works is there are granules that look like that. Hopefully that's coming through on video for you guys. Uh, actually, let me get out here on the grass here. And I'll spray some down. There we go. So hopefully you guys can see that. Um, they're, they're small little granules and literally it doesn't take very much. You walk around your entire lawn just like, uh, you're basically using this portion of it that, that has the opening, kind of like a, um, like, a, like your salt shaker, and just kind of spray and walk throughout the lawn. And again, one bottle of this stuff goes a really long way. You're gonna treat, again, up to up, just under 60,000 square feet with one of those, which is, which is, uh, which is really good. Um, as far as the active ingredients goes, uh, this one has one called idoxacarb, I think is how it's pronounced. And then the powder, the orthene, has uh, a product called, um, the active ingredients, like, I think it's called acephate. Uh, this one smells really, really bad. You really wanna be careful when you're putting this out. You don't wanna have pets, or your kids, or anything in the lawn when you're, um, when you're applying this. Uh, you, definitely until the, uh, the, the dust settles. You wanna be really careful with this one because it, it can become more airborne than the, uh, than the Advion. So in many ways, I prefer this one over that. As far as cost goes, uh, the Orthene, you're looking at uh, just under $15 typically at Home Depot. Sometimes you can get it a little cheaper than that, so it's not terribly expensive. And how far it goes, again, depends on how many anthills you're treating. 
The Adavion Fire Ant Vape, this one, the one that I, I particularly prefer, um, it costs, uh, you get this for under $50 at Amazon delivered. And again, you get 60, 000, it covers about 60,000 square feet, just under 60,000 square feet. So one of these, again, can easily, for most lawns, uh, can go an entire season, sometimes multiple. Like when I, I used to use this a lot in the past, um, I, I would buy one jug and it lasts me uh, a season and a half. So I'd, I'd be able to apply it twice. And then uh, the following season, it would do my first one of the season, I, I still had enough product left. So it just depends on which one you decide to go with. But that's what I want to share with you guys. Hope you guys are able to see the granules. Uh, you know, the sun's really bright right now, so the lighting is not necessarily best to show that. But both products are good. Of the two, if you're going to ask me which one I would go with, it'd be the Advion. If you guys are interested, I'll have links below um, where you can pick that up off of Amazon. Um, I don't believe that uh, you, you'll find this at any of your big box stores. I think Walmart, they said that Walmart will um, will also carry this, but I've never actually seen it at, at a Walmart. I've always gotten it off of Amazon. And you figure two days later, you got it at your house. So hope you guys found this useful. If you did, please like, share, comment. If you're not yet a subscriber, consider subscribing. If you use other things other than either of these products and had good success with uh, for taking care of fire ants, let me know that too. Until next time.